so much, Manny. And February is Heart Health Awareness Month. And joining us now live to share with us ways we can be healthier is Dr. Darius Alibadi. Did I get that correct? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. good. With Heart South with Southeast Health. And thank you so much for being here with us this thank morning. Thank you. Yeah. Obviously, heart health is very important. I would, I would imagine, even though I'm not clinical, that it is one of the leading causes of death in the U.S., is it not? Absolutely. So what are some ways that people can be healthier, obviously, besides eating healthy and exercising? Well, um, probably the biggest risk factor is smoking. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, smoking plus if you have diabetes, the combination is, is deadly. Um, smoking is one of the uh, most modifiable risk factors. Of course, if you have high cholesterol, you want to get your cholesterol checked and mm -hmm. eat healthy, take cholesterol medicine if it's elevated, uh, get your blood pressure checked, uh, get screened for diabetes, mm -hmm. uh, exercise, eat healthy. Uh, so those are the main risk factors. And that's both types of diabetes, correct? Yes, Either absolutely. one. Okay. All right. So what all is Southeast Health doing this month to help commemorate and uh, honor people who have been lost? Well, I guess uh, February is Heart Health Month, so there's uh, uh, increased awareness uh, through the media. Um, there's the the balloon release was last week, I believe. Remember that, yeah. Um, just in general, we're just uh, getting the message out there that heart disease exists. It's uh, um, a common myth is that women do not get heart disease or it's um, not nearly as pre prevalent in women as men. Really? And, uh, but women get heart disease just as frequently as men. Um, it's the number one killer of heart, uh, in women. Okay. And um, the symptoms of heart disease in women can be different than men too. So uh, the symptoms may not be as typical. You can get discomfort in the jaw or the, the throat, the back, the arm more commonly than in the chest. I was going to say, if you get a pain typically on the left side right. of your body, correct, then well, don't need to right. ignore that. What, what I say is any pain from your earlobe down to your belly button mm -hmm. on either side. On either side, okay. Uh, including your jaw, your teeth, sometimes it's the tongue, the back, uh, the neck, down the arms, elbows, mm -hmm. up to the belly button. And of course, chest too, which mm -hmm. is where most people think it's exclusively at, but not necessarily in the chest area. Right. And can you share with us any kind of stats on a local level of like how many heart cats or procedures that y'all do? Oh, well, let's see. <clears throat> I know I it's very just, common. <laughs> uh, my own personal stats, I mean, well, we, we, I mean, we, we uh, I'm going to say we probably have over 2,000 interventions a year. That might be a little bit high on the, on the stats. But just to give people, yeah. it's definitely a it's severe, absolutely. serious issue. I mean, yes. Any last minute thoughts uh, before we go today that you want to leave us with? How can people reach you? Where's your office specifically located? I, I work at the, the medical center on the fourth floor, um, Heart South. Just you can look us up in the telephone book. Um, right. Just call us if you have any questions. All right. No, thank well, you. thank you so much All for right. your time this morning. Thank you. And as always, we're going to put this full interview on our website, deathandfirst.com. And stay with us. Still coming up in the broadcast. Have you ever wanted to resend a message in Facebook? Well, apparently you can now do that. And we'll have that full report coming up when Wake Up Wiregrass continues. Stay with us.